Now, let's fix this problem without the use of calculator. The first thing we want to do is to say that this 100 you have in here, I want to replace it with 99 plus 1. After all, 99 plus 1 is 100. So we're having 99 here, so we want something similar to this. So 2 to the power of 99 plus 1 is the same thing as saying 2 to the power of 100. Does that make sense? All right, minus 2 to the power of 99. What will be the solution to this particular? I want to reduce this to the lowest point. Now here, we can transform it to the law of indices. Keep in mind, we have a to the power of m plus n. And I swear, write this as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. That is the product law of indices. So if you are applying this particular one to this point, we should have 2 to the power of 99 times 2 to the power of 1. After all, when the base are the same, you add the power. So minus 2 to the power of 99. What will be the solution to this? Now we can factorize 2 to the power of 99 because they are common to both sides of the equation. So if I take 2 to the power of 99 because they are common, I'll factor it. If I factor it out, what will be left here will be 2 to the power of 1 minus. If you pull out this 2 to the power of 99, not 0 will be left. It is 1. After all, if you clear the bracket, 2 to the power of 99 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 will still give you this expression you're having here. And 2 to the power of 99 times 1 will still give you 2 to the power of 99. So we're making a very good progress. So at this point, 2 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 2. And then 2 minus 1, that will be 1. So 1 times 2 to the power of 99 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 99. And this is the solution to this particular problem. I hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to like the video, save it, and share it to other students so they will benefit of it. It's a love.